Never happened. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impression on the uh, Huda Beauty 10 Tour um, release. Basically it's a contour slash bronzer cream. So in today's video I'm going to mention the application process, the price, the color. Um, does a little go a long way, will this probably last you or not? And a little kind of breakdown on how I felt reviewing this product. So we're going to get right into the application process, the meat and potatoes, um, and then we'll get into the rest of the day. Alright, going straight into this, I am just opening it, slim packaging, kind of nice. And I'm just using an angled brush to apply it, and I'm just dabbing in. It's kind of interesting that it's a cream. Ooh, chow! never happens. I will mention though right now in this application process that I'm wearing um, Too Faced Foundation. So I wanted to try it out on a neutral base. Whoa, I gotta chill on how much I'm putting on. All right, I'm not used to this. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, I wanted to use a neutral base. I like to do reviews with products where um, it's not the same like the foundation isn't the same as the concealer, it's in the same as everything. Just because they do make it and formulate it so it's all cohesive, but not everybody realistically goes and buys a launch and buys absolutely everything. Like, you know, even when I do my face to for a night out, I'm like buying stuff where, or sorry, I'm putting on my makeup with my favorite concealer, my favorite foundation, but they both may not be from the same brand. So that's why I like to do that, just a side note. Uh, this is hilarious. This is such a nice application process. <laughs> a little goes a long way because look at my forehead. Probably just gonna go back with some concealer just to even that out. Well, there's no concealer on this, but my beauty blender that has concealer still on it just to kind of like even it out a bit. But this is like super good. Like, so the application process that was not easy and that was super fast. It's actually a lot faster than my application with my foundation sticks, which is nice and definitely refreshing. Um, I love this application process. I'm, I'm definitely in love. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish up the rest of my face and come back with you guys for the rest of the video. Um, so getting into the price, I just wanted to mention quickly, it is 30 USD, and I felt like given the amount and the size, you're getting your money's worth, but I thought it was quite surprising because I compared it quickly um, to other bronzers on the market, and they're actually the same price. This is really odd for Huda Beauty because she actually does price things a lot, a little bit more um, than the average like price of her peers. Um, kind of towards more higher end makeup, but what she offers, I mean, it, usually what she offers is great, but I mean, she, amongst her peers, and given that she's a more Instagram brand and stuff, it's kind of interesting to see that. So the next thing I want to mention is, will you need to use a lot? No. I'm actually so happy that that's a thing. I feel like I got the effects that I want on my face without having to use a lot of products, and that literally is all you want like you want your products to last and I feel like this will last you a long time I literally dipped and dabbled if anything I put too much and I barely used much um, I mean there's no point in me showing you but you can just kind of see like stipples in there like there's no it's barely anything and that's really nice it's really really nice the next thing I'm going to touch on is color so this launch from my understanding was five colors I thought it was 30 or something crazy, I don't know why, but I guess the colors or the photos I was looking on online were um, multiples of the same color. Like, I didn't get it. Um, so I guess there was five from my understanding. So I obviously just decided to go straight to the darkest color because that just made the most sense for me. I feel like it fits me perfectly and beautifully. I think it really brings a lot of uh, life and um, warmth to my face without it being like too dark, but I don't think that would even be possible. Um, I do feel like if you were darker than me, you would still get, like I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror, I feel like you would still get a good, um, you would still be able to use this. Um, and I'm like in the darker range of a dark skin people. Uh, so do keep that in mind if you are interested in purchasing this. Overall, I do, usually I love Huda's drops. I didn't try her powder, but I did try, I do have the foundation and concealer, wonderful products. 
um, and I now have this and I actually really really like it this is the second bronzer I've ever had I have fancy I have this one so keep your eyes out for a battle video between those two products like that's gonna be really interesting to watch um, but other than that I really love this product I would recommend this product to somebody I would also hope that at some point people like there's more brands out there that are gonna do bronzers what I will mention that I found kind of weird people mention this after the foundation when Huda Beauty dropped her foundation but yeah the very first time and it, they felt like it was kind of like a copycat type of situation but I was like no it takes a long time to be able to formulate a foundation and come out with colors and everything so I didn't feel like at that time that was a thing concealer everyone just follows up with a concealer this however when I saw this was coming out this felt kind of weird I was like oh okay I get it maybe you had a bronze in the works but to kind of like follow in the coattails of a Fenty Beauty drop and then drop and be like oh my god we have a bronzer for all these shade ranges when this not have been a thing that's beautiful and I'm grateful for that but at the same time it felt kind of sketchy it was the first time I was like oh and I felt like at that first at, that was the first time I felt like oh I understand where these people were coming from in terms of the foundation but it's so hard to formulate a foundation so at that point I was like no this is just a coincidence. This didn't feel like a coincidence, but I like Huda Beauty products, so I was like, I'm gonna support nonetheless. Um, but after looking at that and looking at a lot of other things that have been popping up and a little bit of controversy, I'm now kind of questioning and thinking I need to do a lot more of my research. But I bought this already, and I was like, I'm going to still review it and do it justice. And I'm grateful as a dark-skinned woman that there's options out there for us and there's more now, but I mean, at what expense? Anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts and what you think in the comments below. Let's have a discussion because this is an actual important discussion and I would love to hear other people's points of views, especially from a worldly point of view. I live in, a, in Canada. Things are a little different than other places and I would love to see and hear and interact with you guys to see what you guys think. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm a little late sometimes, life happens, moves and whatnot, but no matter what, I will always post content. So please follow me on my social platforms as well. I'm a lot more active on there if I'm not here. So thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.